so you're speaking about uh, agriculture, hunger, poverty, transpo, that's only some of the issues that you'll, you and your cabinet, should you win, will have to solve. Um, given that your campaign is hinged on the promise of continuity, continuing the Angmatu, does that mean people can expect you to appoint the same people to the cabinet, retain the, the cabinet? Well, you know, um, almost to a man or to a person, uh, the cabinet members have all said na, you know, they'd like to go back to the private sector. Many of them have been in government for uh, five years, if not longer, you know. Uh, and so, medyo, medyo, one of them said, bug bug na yung savings account ko, no? So, nag away na kami ng misis ko, ganun. So, so I, I would, I think that it's just safe to assume that you're going to have a fresh new set of faces. Many, m many if not all, uh, all have expressed a desire na to go back to private sector. They would have been with Pinoy in the private, in, in the public sector for the last six years, if not longer. So I know you mentioned in interaction, I think, TV5, you said you, you, it was presumptuous to name names at this point for the cabinet. But don't you think that that's something that you should already be thinking about, even as we start campaigning for 2016? I, you know, I've, I've, never had, I've never had difficulty recruiting good people. Um, I was slated for one job. Secretary Ping De Jesus uh, resigns. Pinoy says, kailangan ka doon. Different set of disciplines, different set of, of needs. Problems. Uh, I won't mention names, but Stanford MBA, Ateneo Law School, had his own business, na-recruit natin. Uh, top litigator from one of the top white shoe law firms in our country to make sure that the contracts are, are in good place, na-recruit natin. No? I think it, it's easy to recruit good people with integrity and credibility kung nakikita nila na matino ka rin. Hindi mo sila dadalhin sa alanganin. Hindi mo sila pipilitin na magsinungalin or mag-cover up. Kung tatansyahin ka rin nila, eh, di ba? Uh, titimbangin ka rin nila. Ito ba yung malalagay ako sa alanganin? Mapapahiya ba ako rito? Yung mga anak ko na nag-aaral, kakansyawan ba ng mga kaklase nila na magnanakaw, ganito ganon? So, titingnan ka rin nila at uh, kung mataas naman ang kredibilidad mo, ay, uh, ay uh, papasok din naman sila. No? So, I've never had difficulty um, uh, recruiting uh, good people, credible people, competent people, people with experience, kasi hindi mo namang gusto yung walang, uh, yung hindi niya, wala siyang karanasan sa pagmamanage, wala siyang, you know, manage, simply, simply, I'll give you an example, Glenda, just to go back to our earlier question. Dumaan, dumaan dito si Lando. Right? So, maraming tumatawag, tulong, tulong, ganun. So, marami naman mga nagvo-volunteers, paano kami tutulong? O sige, gumawa tayo ng uh, food pack relief well, project. No? Tulong bayan. O sige, okay. Just the sequencing, <laughs> just the sequencing and knowing what's, what should come first is very important. Dumating, dumating ang bigas, dumating ang delata, walang plastic. So, hindi ka makakilos. <laughs> Kasi sa mo, sa mo itatrans, sa mo ililipat, no? at ipapackage, things like that. So, I'm just, I'm just showing you that management is not something that should just be uh, parang, parang uh, diminished in importance. Even knowing the sequencing of what steps to take is quite important. No? Uh, because kung hindi, uh, urung sulung, urung, you know, hurry up, yeah. wait, hurry up. So, I think that I think that it's quite important that that um, we're able to attract credible people, people with integrity, people with experience, uh, who have handled massive scale projects, um, because that's exactly what's needed in. Uh, and you wouldn't mind government. appointing friends. No, I mean, I, I, I don't think that it's an automatic disqualification. I think what would be an automatic disqualification would be a vested interest. If they're engaged in that business or if they're engaged in that activity, well, that's 